This circuit is known as a half-wave rectifier. It consists of a diode in series with a resistor. As you look at this, you'll notice that the, the source driving it will only drive current when the diode is forward biased. So if the input signal were sinusoidal, for example, as is the case here in this black line, this black lined graph, the diode will conduct when the input voltage is positive, and when it's conducting, there will be current going through the resistor and we'll get an output voltage. When the input goes negative, the diode will be reverse biased, it will not conduct, there will be no current going through the resistor, and there will be no voltage at the output. Now, using a constant voltage drop model, we know that it takes about 7 tenths of a volt, or whatever V sub D is for the diode, that many volts to drop, there will be that voltage drop across the diode in order to get it to conduct. So this circuit won't conduct until the input gets up to V sub D. At that point, the input voltage will be at V sub D. The input voltage will be at V sub D, but the output voltage will be at zero volts, and it's only for voltages greater than V sub D that the, output, the diode is conducting or that the output then sees a voltage. So there's a voltage difference between the output voltage shown here in the blue and the input voltage corresponding to V sub D, the junction voltage of the diode. You'll also notice that there is a slight delay, however long it takes for the input voltage to get up to V sub D, there will be that much delay before the diode starts to conduct. So the output voltage then is this blue line. It takes a, a moment or two to start conducting. It conducts at a voltage less um, than the input by V sub D. It then turns off and you've got this flat until the, the input comes back around to the point that it's greater than the, than the uh, junction voltage. Now, what happens when the diode is not conducting? When the diode is not conducting, we're going to have a negative voltage here, and what this is calling the peak voltage, call it uh, V peak, it will be a negative V sub peak here, no current flowing through here, so this point will be ground. There will be a reverse biased voltage on the diode. The maximum value, maximum value of that reverse voltage is known as the peak inverse voltage. And for the half-wave rectifier, the peak inverse voltage, or PIV, is equal to the peak value of the input. The transfer function for this circuit is for V sub S and V out. The input signal has got to get up to V sub D before it starts to conduct. And from there on, v sub, or the V out voltage will equal V sub S minus the input voltage.